It's a, it's a Michael Foot. Why is it called a Michael Foot? Because it has absolutely no effect whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> ah, laughter, heady stuff. Well, uh, no me old sausage, uh, there was a time, and you'll hardly credit this, I know, when, like you, I was something of a teenage idol, chased down the streets by mobs of excited women folk, my modest home under siege, all that sort of thing, and, uh, in fact, on one occasion, myself and another DJ, the self-styled Weird Beard from KLIF Dallas, were mobbed in a department store by about 2,000 fans, uh, stimulated beyond endurance by the fact that I was English, still am, in fact, and uh, this was during the Beatles era, and uh, they were crying out and fainting and, and being sick. Uh, it, was, it was a wonderful moment in my life, and some of the hardier spirits were bellowing, touch me, John, touch me, <laughs> and, uh, being a pretty immature sort of a chap even then, I was uh, only happy, too happy to do this. <laughs> and uh, I don't know if you've ever done any gigs on Indian reservations, have you? Can't say I have, no. no, no. I used to do fairly regularly gigs on Indian reservations in the south of Oklahoma with uh, a couple of bands that I chose on account of their wonderful names. There was Jay Walker and the Pedestrians, which uh, I think is quite cute. And uh, my special favourites, all the way from Tulsa, Oklahoma, Dan Yankee and the Carpetbaggers. Very good. Yeah, so you have to enjoy some familiarity with the period of Reconstruction following the American Civil War to get the full flavour of that. And uh, there was a wonderful band from, uh, I think, Cincinnati called Stark Naked and the Car Thieves. <laughs> <laughs> Very possibly my all-time favourite band name. And on the radio station in Oklahoma, we weren't allowed to mention them by name, presumably because they felt that the streets would fill with laughing, dancing nudists if we did, or, or possibly, I suppose, with laughing, dancing car thieves. And uh, we had to call them SN and the CTs, which oh. really rather spoiled the effect. Uh, unhappily, Noel, not, not being in the helicopter in South Sea Islands bracket myself, I, I still oh, have yeah. to... <laughs> mystery I, Blonde? Yeah, Mystery Blonde, yes, yes. I still have to get out amongst the huddled masses and do gigs, and I did one in Sheffield last weekend, which uh, attracted nearly 80 mystified revellers, so you can see that the, the John Peel Roadshow is big, big, big with today's young people. And uh, I like to work, work is the word that we disc jockeys use in this context, just a fancy, uh, with bands with stirring names. My favourite of last year, and I wish I'd made the trip to Skipton to see them, was Patrick Moore and the All-Stars. <laughs> sure, then, it? And uh, my favourite so far in 1982 has been Brighton's Christians in Search of Filth. <laughs> Named, presumably, in honour of those brave citizens who quite voluntarily, and in the privacy of their own homes, fight pornography by looking at a lot of it. There's a retirement job for you there, Noel, come November. Thank you very much, John. Thank you, John Peel. Uh, how did uh, Liverpool do? Well, unfortunately, the greatest goalkeeper in the world, Bruce Grobbelaar, let in three for the second match in a row. Three all with Luton at Anfield. Oh. How did West Ham do? Who cares? <laughs> they won 5-0. <five> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Mary Wilson.